what's going on with me. We're going to check in what's going on with Nancy Drew. She's always up to something silly. She looks like, this isn't Nancy, but this this screenshot they have at the top of the Secrets Can Kill Remastered game, really, let me show you her full face. It really, like, reminds me of Molly Ringwald in a weird way. You guys ever watch 80s teen movies? <laughs> With Molly Ringwald, I think it's just the red hair. It's just the short red hair. And maybe the eye makeup. And the freckles also, maybe. <laughs> but I haven't played this game. I have. I don't actually know anything about it, except I think someone dies at the beginning. And then you have to solve the mystery. I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing in this game. But it's the first Nancy game. That's what I'm really excited about. A hey, bread ghost. It is good old Nance. Thank you for being oh. Thank you, Big Tall. Hi, it's so good to see you. Are hey, you gonna be back streaming tonight, Big Tall? I uh, I had to miss all your most of your big streams. Bummed I missed your most of your twenty four hour Silent Hill. Hello, Blue. Thank you for the reset. That is incredibly sweet. I really appreciate that. <laughs> What's up, nerds? Hey, Goofy Bits, how's it going? And Power, welcome in, guys. It's going to be interesting seeing the old game even if it is remastered. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to be like remastered to look like the other games that we've played. But it will be interesting to see if the storylines are really different for the very first Nancy game. I'm going to be very interested to see how it goes. And I'm also very glad we're playing the remaster version. Because it seems like the original version would really be a huge pain to play. <laughs> Because I'd have to, I gotta get a Windows 95 emulator. I gotta find these discs. It's, it's, you have to swap out discs all the time. I'm not about that. Um, I'm sorry. I'll let Nancy talk now. I'll actually open the game. <laughs> I just needed to vent about my day for a second. <laughs> As a, that's not too Dare much. To that's, play. Okay, don't whisper at me though. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> See, Molly Ringwald vibes anybody? Does she does she not put that off to anybody else? And we're in a high school and it's the end of Hi, like I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. Nancy. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, Nancy. take a look. Na Nancy, you're so loud, babe. <laughs> Excuse me, giant human person. But you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy. Baby, I gotta get, you gotta calm down a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy. All right, nosy, that's better. <laughs> especially for someone who hardly... All right, how's that? That feels... All right, that feels okay. I think. Tell me if it's not okay, though. <laughs> Nancy is so extra. <laughs> Hope moving's going well. Oh, dude, moving is um such a pain. I'm I'm so excited to move though. It's the packing that is giving me so much anxiety right now. I don't feel like I'm gonna have it all done by Sunday, and I got like. I got people coming here to help me move. I gotta have everything ready. <laughs> uh, hey, Eddie, how's it going? Didn't know Nancy had a face. I don't know if that is Nancy's face. Is that Nancy's face? I think it's just Molly Ringwald's face. Um, do we have Scopa cards? Oh, God. <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather not play more Scopa. How to be a detective. It's All right, helpful, that's good. I need my voice to, to always overpower Nancy's voice. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in yeah, there. Yeah, no, I know Nancy. A lot of them were pretty dangerous. Wait, the past mysteries? Really How? We don't have any. This is the first game. To my dad, okay? All right, all right. So now we know this one came out actually after Trail of the Twister. These aren't past cases, I feel like. If this one's the first case. But alright, Nancy. Whatever you want to say. 
Ooh, is that the right button? I... Yeah, what is this? Oh, it's just the thing, how to be a detective. Case file. Did I say welcome, welcome everybody to Nancy Drew? <laughs> Nancy Drew, the first Nancy Drew game. That's why, that's what we're playing. I'm gonna keep repeating that because I'm excited about it. And I feel like it needs to be said because it doesn't look like it. A student named Jake Rogers was killed last week at the... Okay. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. Undercover detective by the name of Beach. Alright. Asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. <laughs> Is this the first, like, actual murder that we're investigating? I feel like people haven't died in the other ones. <laughs> We did the danger by design. That one, she was getting death threats, but she didn't die. What's the other one? Um, uh, the wolf? The white wolf game? Again, I don't think anybody died in that one. I think there were explosions and people went to the hospital, but I don't think anybody explicitly died. And then there's another one that I'm forgetting. We just played it. What did we just play? The Danger by Design. We played the wolf. Oh, the Italian one. Yes. Um, I, I, Phantom of Venice. Phantom of Venice. That's it. That's it. Phantom of Venice. And that wasn't dying. People were just stealing things. Okay, so this is the first Nancy where somebody's dying, I believe. <laughs> This the same Nancy voice actor because it sounds like a 40 year old trying to do teenager voice. Yes, it's all the same. It's all the same Nancy until like the brand new one, that Mystery of the Seven Keys, I think. I think it's all the same Nancy. I feel the moving struggle and moving myself pretty soon. Oh, really, Bread Ghost? How's that going for you? Are you gonna be nearby still? Or are you gonna. nearby, like, nearby to your current place? Because <laughs> I'm just moving like a mile down the road from where I am. Like, I'm not. It's not a big move, it, but it feels like it because I have to move all of my things. <laughs> uh, message in a haunted mansion. Yo, I know that one. Yeah, all right. I'm two and a half hours away. Ooh, that's a tough move. I've done a big long move like that. It's, uh, uh I, I get a lot of anxiety for it. I really hope it goes well for you. <laughs> I've, I've, I've moved quite a bit in my time, and I gotta say, it's easier to move a smaller distance. Big shocker. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. This is actual. this feels like a, an appropriate story for Nancy Drew. She's a high schooler going undercover as a high schooler to find out why a kid was murdered. I mean, I guess it's really none of her business, but she'll make it her business. All right, let's let's go to <laughs> let's go to high school. <laughs> Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers. Was okay, speak louder, Nancy. Speak a little bit louder, Nancy. I didn't realize the music was going to drown you out so much. Sorry. Excuse me. At the high school last week, and an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for. Is that who you're posing as, Nancy? <laughs> so it's undercover. I go. I'm calling this case. Secrets can kill. Love, Nancy. She just she just tells her dad, "Hey, dad." I'm putting myself in a super risky situation. I'm gonna try to find, try to find out why some kid died. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm giving this murder case a cute name. <laughs> I think that was Lester from GTA. I think that was Lester from GTA. I think you're right, Goofy Bits. That was Lester from GTA. This is an alternate timeline where he dies in high school. <laughs> instead of becomes a criminal. <laughs> Don't take me back to high school. I hated that place. I liked high school. I had a pretty pretty good time in high school. Um, 
I would not want to go back. I'm I'm much happier, like, <laughs> living my adult life. But, you know, high school was fine. College was not fun for me. So I had the reverse experience of most people. I had a bad time in college and I had a good time in high school. Them's the breaks, I guess. <laughs> and now I have an okay, I have a very medium time as an adult. <laughs> Where are we? Are we in a hotel? Nancy, had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember to not enter a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Why would I do murder research in the library? Are there books about teen murders in the library? There must be. School was bad, college was amazing. Grad school though, that was just meh. Grad school for me was also just meh. Um, but my grad school was also pandemic. <laughs> my grad school was entirely online. And I felt pretty much no connection to it whatsoever, but I went through it. And we're and now we're here. <laughs> Look at what did it, what good it did me. I'm still an internet idiot. <laughs> All right, is this the safe? What is? Can I not touch this clock? This clock looks like a thing I really really want to touch. But alas, I cannot. Oh, drawers. Paseo Del Mar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority. That's too many letters. <laughs> Oh, it's at the top of the thing. Sigma, Sigma Kappa, so no, Sigma Phi, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Uh, cordially invite you to attend the 20, is this pronounced Phi? It sounds wrong when I'm saying it out loud. I think it's not. <laughs> I think it's been too long since college now and I've forgotten how Greek letters are read. Cordially invite you to the 25th annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta sorority reunion. Saturday, the 23rd. Of any month, just pick one, I guess. <laughs> the Emerald Press Ballroom, Paseo Del Mar Country Club, Paseo Del Mar, Florida. Round Robin Golf Tournament starts at 3.30. Reception and dinner at 7 o'clock. Dinner and dancing immediately following. Is this... Is this my Aunt Eloise's? Am I snooping through my Aunt Eloise's drawers? Is that what's happening? Because this seems nosy for no good reason, <laughs> I have to say, Nancy. Unless I know that she'll be gone on the 23rd. This music feels like a little invasive, doesn't it? It feels like it's... I don't know, it feels like it's intruding on, on my on my snooping. <laughs> I want to snoop in peace, but there's a piano player in the background who's watching me snoop. Can I turn to the side? Yes, I can. Yes. Doors. Doors. Living room. Oh, so we're, we must be in the foyer. I'm gonna guess this is the front door. Aunt Eloise, I didn't know you were so fancy to have a foyer. <laughs> Nancy learns Greek, finally! <laughs> it's about time. College was much easier than high school academically. Really? I thought college was about the same academically. They were both pretty rigorously demanding of my time. <laughs> I don't know that, I mean, I'm sorry if you feel a power that school gets worse over time. I've always liked school, but it did get, it got different over time. That's for sure, it was different. It was less interesting as I had to keep taking school. Probably means I picked the wrong major. <laughs> I 
haunted ghost bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. I feel like we're about to enter a movie. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and even others have felt a cold, tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings, but the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century, when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here. All returned with their hair turned white. What? <laughs> that would be such a good prank if you're in a troop of Girl Scouts and you all agree to dye your hair white as a prank. Being like, ah, oh, guys, we passed over the haunted ghost bridge and all of our hair turned white. Ah, oh, it's such a good prank. Horrifying if real. Excellent prank. <laughs> None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year! At first, the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. Psychiatrists specializing in traumatic experiences were asked to examine the girls. But the girls would only say one phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. Oof. Alright. Uh, okay. Everybody remember that. Follow the X to the spot below. I don't know how you follow an X. But, uh... This book is titled Hidden Clues Are Everywhere. <laughs> what else do you have? Aunt Eloise. Chest? Can't look in the ch Yes, chest! These are Nancy Drew books. These yellow- these books with the yellow spines? Those are Nancy Drew books. That's what Nancy Drew books look like. I've never read one, I just know what they look like. <laughs> I worked in a library also while I was in high school and college. <laughs> Wait, where was that hand? There was just- there's the hand. Ooh! Tea lounge. Yoink. I'm sure she won't miss that. Uh, this appears to be a book about ancient Rome? I'm gonna assume that's not a clue. Uh, but I'll, I'm gonna make a mental note of it. <laughs> subject that was hard by the end of it. Art. Really? Are you not a big fan of art classes? I always, I always liked my art classes. They felt like a really nice break. And I think this is actually a problem that I have in adulthood, is that high school felt balanced in that sense of like, you know, oh, I'm gonna have, like, hard math and science classes and like, language and I have to learn all these things but it's like when I got to go to art class it was like all right my brain gets a break for 45 minutes <laughs> I just get to sit here and we get to mold something out of clay or work on you know make a painting whatever project teacher had us doing that week this is spooky right I got distracted by my own memories but this is really spooky this <laughs> This TV in a cupboard. I don't know why it's ma it makes me very uncomfortable. See, that's not helping. <laughs> I need something to make this work. You need a VHS tape. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the spooky TV alone. I understand that that's just what TVs looked like in 1995 or whenever this was made. Yeah, there's an encyclopedia. This is not an encyclopedia, this is a story. <laughs> During her trip with Maxine, Maggie learned an old hiker's trick. Are Lena and Maggie coming to tea? inquired Carl. No, they've gone to see the bandit's treasure at Lando Lakes Theater. You know, everyone's favorite butter theater. Brady Armstrong is playing the lead. 
Oh, I once visited Brady on a restaurant in Napa, California. It's called Mamaloni's, it was. Magnificent. I ate there, and I got sick on a jellyfish sandwich. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, you should have tried the dog's eye. It was Robin Hood. Nope, see, now you've said too many weird things. <laughs> I don't- what- I- No, you've said too many weird things now, and now I'm suspicious of this whole passage. Cause you can't- you say it was Robin Hood, like that's slang for something. <laughs> A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in that neighborhood. Everyone laughed. What does this mean? I rarely dine out, only once in a blue moon. Stifling a yawn, Renate put her- that put down her glam glam magazine. When are we gonna return to the big island? Mike stood up and glared in Renette. Pish pish, you know I never go back there. Oh, don't be such a baby, scolded Renate. Renat Renate? Mike is afraid to go back because he got bit by a spider there, he explained to the other guest. He went to the ER and the bill was huge because his copay is so much. How embarrassing! What a poor! <laughs> My dad always wants to preach about and complain about high insurance costs. None of this- this is all just a series of non sequiturs that they've pretended to string together as a conversation. No, I always wanted to be an astronaut. Did you hear Daryl is going to the Air Force Academy? He is, asked Renate, offering a plate of cudlets. What is a cudlet? Offering a plate of cudlets to her de her guests? What is a cudlet? There are no more pages of this book. <laughs> What is this? This is my cell phone? This is not a 90s cell phone. This is such a fancy phone. Phone? Ooh, we can call Ned? And that's it. Ned... <laughs> our boyfriend Ned is our only contact in our phone. Camera? I kinda like this camera. Settings? Color? Blue? Purple. I don't know, Nancy feels like... I think Nancy would like purple. What other backgrounds do you have? This does not look like books to me, but okay. Ugh. God, it's... <laughs> this is the, the first background you ever give your cell phone when you get the iPhone 1 in 2007. House on the Void, Red Isle. Wow, she's got plenty of beautiful places. Crazy that she would stick a photo of herself canoeing as the background. <laughs> oh no, I don't like this purple at all. Yeah, that's better. This Now this feels like a tech gadget. I like it. Alright, put that away. Um, go to the high school and talk to the students about the murder victim, Jake Rogers. Look and see if Aunt Eloise left me a note. She did. Did Found that. It. But I'm busy snooping through Aunt Eloise's house. I can't possibly go to school right now. Reminders. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. How can you talk to Jake? He's dead. Oh, this is from Eloise. Duh. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. Call Nancy to get flight number. Call Jackie about Spanish. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. What is Aunt Eloise's role in all of this? Is she like a school librarian? Anyway. 
Ah. Sorry. Oh, shoot. What sorority was she in? Um. Sigma? Phi? Kappa? Delta? Yes! What is this? Ooh, a slide puzzle! This is great! I love breaking and entering into my aunt's safe. I love these slide puzzles. I don't know what's on top. I didn't look at the top of the box. Um... I wonder who this is supposed to be a picture of. I think it goes... Yeah, I think it's like that. Okay. I think, yeah, I think her head is at the top. That feels right. And then... Boulders... Boom. School computer, login name Eloise Drew, password O Wise Elder. Well, okay, I thought I could just take the slip of paper. <laughs> Didn't know we were writing things down already. <laughs> Alright. Okay, login. School. Get off of there. Jeez. School. Computer. Login is Eloise Drew is all caps. And then password is O Wise Elder. Is that a reference to something? I'm going to lose it. I am so, so happy that I am moving because these kids are so dang loud. They are driving me absolutely bananas. I am so happy. It's only two more streams of this. It's today and tomorrow. I'm sorry if you hear the banging in the background. It's driving me so crazy. I just want to move so badly. Ugh. Oh, I'm so ready to move. I'm not, but I'm... I, I will be. I will... I will get things packed and get out of this place as soon as I can. Getting out of here, Ma. Can't take it anymore in this small town. I'll also take this ideas key with me. Hi. Okay, so I have... Alright, I've got two keys now. An ideas key. Wait, does this key work in here? What does this do? Hmm. Maybe that's not an unlockable thing? Hard to tell. Oh, I guess there's nothing else back that way. All right. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't go in this room. All right. And I guess it's time for school. Or not. <laughs> Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Wait, you're telling me that that guy we thought was Lester is actually <laughs> Detective Beach? Where is Maxine? I kind of want to see him. Is that- is this the Lester guy? Also, look at how simple- this map is, compared to all the future maps, it's just 
It's the house, it's the diner, it's the high school. Very simple. There's not 10 million places on the map like we had in the in the Venice game. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Uh, tell me about the high school. He does not look like a high school. He looks like when they cast people in High School Musical and they go, yeah, please believe this person in their 20s is a high schooler. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. In the school? They were murdered in the school? <laughs> oh, that's a whole different thing entirely. I thought he just died. <laughs> I'm heavily addicted to breakfast food. <laughs> What are you talking about, Goofy Bits? You're heavily addicted to breakfast food? You're gonna be hanging out at Maxine's Diner all the time? Breakfast food is really, like, hit or miss with me. I gotta be in the mood, you know? But I- but I'll eat it for any meal. I just gotta be in the mood for it. Uh... Yeah, what happened? Do you know? Were you there? Did you commit the murder? What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. No, that's super weird. This is super weird. This is a small town. I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're in a small town because they have one high school. You, go, you both go to the same high school. You are the student council president. You both worked at the same diner. They were like, yeah, but I didn't really know this guy. No, that's too many, that's too many overlapping circles for you to be like, nah, I don't know that kid. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> All you do is breakfast food, eggs, waffles, cereal, you name it. Okay, well, what's the best breakfast food? Whether you eat it at home or whether you you go out and eat it. I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, of, um of Eggs Benedict. I am also a humongous fan of Bagel and Lox. I love, if ever I go out to eat and I can get some Bagel and Lox, that's what I'm ordering. Kid was killed in school and the police have abandoned the case. I mean, <laughs> the detective called us, but he was like, this case is too big for me. I need a high school. I should do it. <laughs> My favorite is French toast sticks. Ooh, like those frozen French toast sticks that you buy in the freezer section, because I also really like those. And they make the protein version of those now, and those are really good. <laughs> I dip mine in honey. I like it better than the maple. You think he'll tell me who did it if I just straight up ask, did you, did you do it? <laughs> who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> say they're calling in some special detective, maybe even the FBI. I don't know if you heard it, but I heard in the background of that conversation a police siren go off in the game, not in real life. Like they like they're adding sound effects to everything that they're saying. It's so interesting. Uh, does he have special contacts? I'll ask him about Jake's enemy. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Why does everything this work. guy? Nice meeting you, Nancy. Nancy didn't even respond to that. That's so weird. This guy is freaking weird. <laughs> He's really suspicious. I don't know. I'm, I'm not ma making mountains at all molehills, am I? 
Yes, they're the bomb. They are the bomb. The French toast sticks. I agree with you. Normally, I'm like a frozen waffle kind of person. I mean, if I can get a fresh waffle, I'll obviously take that. But those French toast sticks are so fluffy. They maintain a lot better than a frozen waffle. See you later. See ya. This guy's such a freak. <laughs> I don't know what to do about him. Oh my god, can we play the arcade games? I'm out of cash. No! <laughs> How else am I supposed to play Aggregation and Barnacle Blast? Shoot, where am I, where's my cash? I gotta work to make money? Am I out of cash for this? Would you like to hear... Oh man, there's so many good song names in here. I think I'd like to hear Goose, though. I was thinking about Woot, but I think Goose. Oh god, I'm out of money still! <laughs> I don't have enough money. Nancy, you've gotta get cash. I need to know what Goose sounds like. Alright, so all the fun stuff I can't be doing in the diner. I absolutely love the vibe of this diner, though. Look, there's Lester! Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh... uh for a long time! <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. <laughs> he had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? You, like, raided his home and found his phone and everything, but you couldn't find a notebook of supposed drug activities? This is like a very serious case for Nancy. This is so bizarre. Normally they're just- the past ones have been so fluffy. <laughs> Fine, I'll make some more French toast sticks. We'll bring some to share with the rest of the class because I'm running low on food here. <laughs> I'm trying to eat through the rest of my pantry and all I have left is like- like- seven-week-old Ritz crackers and some ramen. <laughs> anyway, I agree. This- all- every interaction here is super weird. <laughs> there's nothing- there's nothing normal happening. Everything is really weird, even for a Nancy Drew game. Bye, Uncle Steve. See you later. Love this diner, though. Whoops, did I turn around? Oh, no, I just... Just... where... where... how to leave. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the house. She's got a huge house in the... Um... California... no, Florida. We're in Florida, right? Palm trees. Theo Del Mar High School. Again, with the dramatic Hallmark music! <laughs> Go fighting manatees! Any pictures of him in here? They said he was a student, but they didn't really give me much of a description of him. Like, I don't know what he looks like. Was he into any sports? Can't really look at these trophy cases, I guess we'll just- Oh, learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, never regrets. This is very- this is 
feels so very authentically high school. Other than the fact that it's bone empty in here. Is it Saturday? Where is everybody? Student you They have a study dome? <laughs> what kind of high school is this? Hiding manatees. Yak. The nimble. Wait, let me read more about yak. <laughs> Merry-go-round? Oh. The Roaring Girl. A Jacobian comedy. Performances are Friday to Sunday at 8 p.m. Dr. Deception. Poetic drama written by the senior essay winners of Paseo High School. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be. On sale Monday and night. Am I gonna need to? Am I gonna need to see this play? Doctor Deception. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be. Homecoming, Enchantment Under the Stars. Isn't that the same uh, homecoming theme as Back to the Future? Wasn't it? Was it Enchantment Under the Stars? Enchantment Under the Sea? Maybe? Senior essay content. Suspicious! Everything is suspicious! <laughs> All right, let's write down all the underlined letters. <laughs> all right, special announcement. P-U-T. Senior essay concept. contest. E. The Hilda Emma Swinson Foundation will award a scholarship for $8,000 to the best senior- $8,000?! The best senior essay. In 1995? That would pay for, like, all of your college. $8,000? Okay, uh, L, E, M, L, E, M, N, E, T, S, N, O, R. The theme of this year's contest is Methods of Good Citizenship and Role Modeling. This is only open to seniors. Interested parties should contact Mr. Sozalo by September 5th. Where did I leave off? Uh, D? D? E? R? T? O? Open. <laughs> just the whole, just all of open, okay. Open. E U D -E Z L E. I don't think that T H that's underlined counts. Locked. <laughs> Happy 19 months of Philly Pal. Thank you, Carsonian. Oh, I really appreciate the reset. That's very sweet. 19 months is a long time. It's been a good time, though. Welcome. Hi, Carsonian. Hi, Tilda. How are you guys? I'm already. This feels like such a somber episode of Nancy Drew because of this weird music they've got in the background. But this is so. Like, I'm so invested already. <laughs> into this into this story ah oh, i'm so glad you guys are here have you done this one tilda have you played this one because this is very this is very different uh okay it says now the th is underlined but i don't think that counts because i already have a sentence here it says put elements in order to open puzzle put elements in order to open puzzle z n through d1 what did that other piece of paper say? It also had a weird, like, Z in D1 thing at the bottom. Where was that? This one? 
Yes, H F to L one. H F to L or L L. That's probably an L. <laughs> it's probably not a one. It's occurring to me now. It's probably an L. Oh, you've never played this one until then? It's so interesting. It feels so much more serious than the other Nancy Drews that we've played. And creepy. It feels really creepy. Mostly because I think this is the only one where somebody's actually died. Um, where was that? I found a little symbol. My magnifying glass activate. Ah, okay. Alright, I looked at the- I think I looked at everything. The only thing here. Been enjoying a smoothie and some Nancy. Yay! Ooh, what kind of smoothie are you sipping on? Man, I'm gonna be so hungry by the end of this stream. <laughs> Running out of food in my house. Gotta get something. Ooh. Danger. Maintenance room. Is in kind of braille. Maybe it's actual braille. Alright, maintenance room is in braille. Ooh, hello. Yeah, free money! We can play games at the arcade now! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> I'm so happy we found the quarter in the hallway. Whoops. Ooh, or maybe I can buy some coke at the vending machine? Ooh, I wonder who that is. I wonder if that's my aunt. Because I'm about to come into this teacher's lounge, it feels like. Not a thing I can read on this one. My magnifying glass isn't changing. I feel like I should be able to read some- Aha! Yes! Friends and family are invited to come to the 5th annual picnic of the Paseo del Mar Junior High School Marching Band. Meet in the parking lot at 9 in the morning. The picnic will take place December 8th at- Oh, way to interrupt me, Mr. Motorcycle. <laughs> picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress whites except for hats. Brass recital is set for later. L.A. to U2. Oh, maybe that was a one. <laughs> L A to U two. Nancy in the back rooms, dude. Nancy is creeping through it. I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared at some point. <laughs> uh, how's that going, Dave? It's good to see you. Uh, the right feeling for a mystery. But that's the thing, is like, before it felt like the mysteries we were playing were Scooby-Doo. That's what the other Nancy Drews have felt like. Now it feels like we're playing... I don't know, Murder, She Wrote? Matlock? I don't know, name a... <laughs> name, a name a detective mystery series. Um, I'm gonna run out of... A, like an adult TV show. Columbo. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel... Oh, look at all these cuties. How fun. They got to be put in the game. I really like November here. I love the magnifying glass. I think it's so cute. Alright, let me talk to this lady, I guess. I feel like I feel like this might be my aunt. But I'm I I don't I don't know. She looks a little crazy. <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger. Yes, everyone's favorite mystery show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Yeah, after I committed this murder last week, it's like totally out of control now. Somebody stop me. <laughs> out of control. 
Have you been going around murdering people? Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. And I did it. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I really feel like everybody did it. Also, I would never drink a yellow soda called Fizz. That just... It doesn't... It doesn't sit right with me. Uh... Who was killed? What happened? Who found the body? Did you found the body? Who found the body? I heard it was Daryl Gray. Paseo Daryl Gray, Fox that's... Student Council president. I told you Daryl Gray is so freaking suspicious. <laughs> I told you. Okay, Daryl Gray. Let me set the scene. If you missed it 10 minutes ago, <laughs> we met Daryl Gray and Daryl Gray was like, yeah, I'm the student body president, but, uh, you know... Even though me and the kid who died went to high school together, and also we both worked at this diner together, I didn't really know him. <laughs> no, you absolutely knew him. You de he so did it. He so did it. Daryl Gray? I'm already convinced. Oh, yeah. Daryl's one of the coolest guys at school. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. This girl is so mean. mean. <laughs> Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Go where? <laughs> Alright, I don't like this girl. I don't think she did it just for the thrill of it, but she could have because she seems like the kind who just got bored one day. Like, you know, it'd be so fun. What if I killed a guy? Just to feel something. Extra pop. Grape orange soda. Cool. Spot cola. How much is... No, my quarter! <laughs> ah, no, I didn't want to do that. But I guess I'll drink a can of cool. Great. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, it was only a quarter, so I guess <laughs> it's not too bad. What's a can of Coke run now? Like, yeah, another quarter! Thank goodness. Can of Coke's got to be like a dollar twenty-five now, right? <laughs> yeah, mean girl psychopathy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I wonder two things: one, can you die? And two, if you do, do you have the more modern game of go back before you died, or do you go back to your last save? Ooh, that's a that's a great question. I would love to know if we die. We haven't had any. I'm gonna go ahead and save now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> I bet it has the modern like, second chance thing to it, since it is the remaster version. But I do- I wonder if you can die. If you figure out, like, who the murderer is and then the murderer comes after you, that's the only scenario I could really see you dying in. A crane contestant in a mask disguised won't the mu- won't- won't- won the prize money despite all the lies. Alright, that's a pretty weird thing. That's that's a pretty weird thing to put up on the board. Shoot, where did I write this? A S to U4. S to U4. Are these like chemical symbols that I've been writing down? Z N H F L A A S. Z N is Think, right? AS is arsenic. <laughs> oh god, please don't quiz me on the periodic table game. I'm not in high school anymore. <laughs> I haven't learned the periodic table since high school. Oh god. My <laughs> mom <sighs> gets so mad at me because I guess the killer on every episode of Cold Case she watches. That's what it is. It's more like. It's more like Cold Case. It's not even like a fun comedy mystery. This is a very serious mystery. <laughs> this is Nancy Drew. You'll explode any second now. That's a good... That's a good point. She could spontaneously combust. I hadn't considered that. Oh my god, why am I solving mysteries when I could be joining the math team instead? In the study dome! Doesn't that sound much cooler? <laughs> I want to see this. I, am I in the study dome? Is that what I... Come on, where's the thing I can read? Aha. 
all, se all, all seniors, all entries in art exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Drew, Drew for info. Uh... Will... You read it, you read it backwards? Will... What is this word? S E will seal my murderer's fate. The hidden videotape. The hidden videotape will will seal my murderer's fate. The hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. We know Eloise has a has a has a VHS player in her in her home. Cuz it is 1997. <laughs> C to R1. C is carbon. I know that. <laughs> That's one of the elements on the periodic table I can remember. Must be the study dome because it's circular shaped. Ah! Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Alright, I already love Hal. I don't know why we're even talking to Hal. Hal obviously did not do it. It was definitely Daryl. I'm so convinced. You can't change my mind. <laughs> Al, uh, so what's been going on at school lately? Have you been around any murders? I know it's a really good cultural experience in America. <laughs> to just, you know, experience murder. It's part of the culture. It's really immersive. Um, I don't even want to go on with that line of jokes because it's just, it's too bad. It's too bad. It's too sad. It's too real. I don't, I don't, I regret. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you admire Americans? Did he say that or are you saying that, Nancy? You plan on staying in America? This is a- Nancy, have better questions. So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. Do you wonder why? Are you stressed out? <laughs> are you stressed out? I'm studying really hard for exams now. My future as a doctor depends on the outcome of these tests. Also, I think the murder has caused a lot of tension at school. That checks wow. out, yeah. Well, who was murdered? Jake Rogers, a student here at Paseo Del Mar High. It's really intense. Dude, like every sentence he said, he is, he seems to have taken this murder very personally. He's the only person who has been sad about this murder. Everybody else is just like, ah, eh, some kid was murdered. I don't know. Did you know him? Not really. Only by reputation. What reputation? I Drug feel peddler. uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. Nancy, that was a terrible line of questioning. There was no good, there were no good questions in there. Yes! I love all this free quarters that these students are leaving around. Ah! <laughs> character is just, I must fit in, I must fit in. But he's, like, he's the only character with genuine emotion. <laughs> Psychopaths are good actors, I'm suspicious. Oh! I hadn't considered that he could be acting. And he's not- maybe he's like not a foreign exchange student at all, at all. Maybe he's a serial killer who just goes from high school to high school pretending to be a foreign exchange student. And so that's why he's only there for like two weeks at a time. You know? And every school he, go to, he goes to, a murder is committed. And nobody's connecting the dots because there are high schools all over the country. I think you're onto something, Dave. I think you're right. You- I don't like this path that we're going down because I really want it to be Daryl because I don't like Daryl. <laughs> but this is an interesting avenue that you've opened up. And he's dressed up like a doctor already. You know, I was thinking that exact same thing. I was like, he looks like he's ready for an episode of Scrubs. <laughs> he's... 
Well, if you see his pants, he looks more like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. But the top half, yeah, he definitely looks like he's in a surgeon, surgeon scrubs. He's just, he's been through it. Hal has already been through it. <laughs> he's having a rough time. Is there anywhere else I can go in this school? I can't go into the maintenance room. I don't know this code yet. Unless... No, I don't know this code. I don't think I can trans- I have... ZND1, HFL1, LAU2, ASUF, CR1. I really think it's a periodic table thing. I don't think it's the braille number. Okay, we went to the study to- I feel like we went everywhere in here. Where did we go? Oh, we went there. Oh, there's another hallway. Wait, 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 wait. It's creepy how abandoned this school is. But there's still trash everywhere. <laughs> Corey and Jess. Uh, up, down, left, right. The first letters will help my flight. Up, up, down, left, right. The first letters will help my plight. Okay, the first letters. U, D, unless it's the last letters because the words are backwards. Up, down, left, right. I'm gonna write it both ways. <laughs> e, or is it backwards from that? Oh God, Nancy! <laughs> Dr. Shaggy son. <laughs> I guess they do have the photo feature for your phone. Oh, should I take a picture? That would be easier if I just took a picture of these things instead of writing them in my own real world notebook. <laughs> H E to U to H E. Lowercase U, by the way, which is weird. Uh, H E is helium. Maybe I do know the periodic table. I'm just kidding. I don't know what HF is. I'm still- I don't know if that's even on there. Um... E... I was right. Let's just take a picture. Zoom. Oh! <laughs> uh, and- whoop. Take photo. Save. Excellent. That sounds good to me. <laughs> I just can't believe there are so many doors here. Whoa. I just can't believe there are so many doors here that I can't access. Ooh, do I have a lock? I don't have a lock combination. Okay, list of things I need. Uh, four digit lock combo. And the braille maintenance room code. Is this the kid who was murdered his locker? Because that seems weird that all of the police tape has been <laughs> taken off of it. Geyser Gym Library. Uh... Is this one- this one's not backwards. Is it a s- is it a scramble? Does- HF is hafnium, which is element 72. It must be elements then! Thank you, power! Hafnium? They really- they get so- I mean, 72 is not the end of the periodic table, there are many after that, but towards the end of the periodic table, everybody gets really- I don't want to say sloppy, 
they get really prideful and they start naming them all after themselves. <laughs> Which is fair. If I discover an element, I do want it to be named after me. Okay. I R. I R is D2. I'm gonna just- I'm gonna take a picture of this one. I- I don't know what the... I have no idea what the... Scramble is. It could be a cypher. Did you guys- does anybody play Helldivers? Cause my husband showed me this morning this cypher that everybody's trying to figure out. And it looks really dumb be honest with you I spent I spent a little a little bit too much time looking at the cipher before I was like I don't think this is a real cipher <laughs> I don't think based on what I've what I'm what I'm seeing and what I'm researching about this I don't think this is real anyway oh picture that's what I was gonna do hollow hey mineralize how's it going Does anybody have any ideas of what this unscramble is? Because I really don't. Or if it is like a cryptogram... Translation one? Or is this the one where it's the first letters? Because the last thing we read said first letters. But the FD is weird. Storm in my area. Ooh, you okay? Cause I it's it is it is tornado season. I I hope the storms pass through uh quickly and quietly for you. It's the weird it's the weird capitals in this. That really make it bizarre. Alright, I think I have to come back. I don't know what this set is saying. Mine's already slowing down. It was impressive when it hit the. Ooh, really? Man, it's been. It feels like it's just been storming like crazy. I mean, I, I know that it's that time of year, but it just seems like it's been so extra violent lately. It has really been all the, over the, the country, you know, all over the country. It seems like everybody's getting slapped around with everything. The KT? Is there a KT element? Gonna ruin my whole element theory. Maybe, oh, is it, I bet it's KR. I bet that's a lowercase r. KR? To. L2? Boy, these are just getting more and more obscure. I have no idea. SNES. That's a game system. <laughs> that's about- that's all I can pull from this. S-N-E-S N-V-D I-N R-O-A-I? R-O-A-I? Dang, we should have been playing Trail of the Twister. Get us in the mood for tornado season. <laughs> Get us rip rare and ready to go with the tornadoes. Library and study dome. I'll come back to that. I want to go to the gym or the locker rooms. Ugh. Nowhere to turn, nowhere to hide, 
Let the books in the library be your answer guide. K to R1. K to R1. Uh... Oh my, to keep up his boy, wish I wish I knew even a little bit what that word was. <laughs> uh I I just I okay, can I if I take a picture of it, can I flip it around? Take photo, save, view, view photo, set images wallpaper. No, I was hoping you had a photo editing function where I could flip this around because it is so hard to read. He did, he did what it took to make the grade, grade, I think it's grade. He did what it took to make the grade even if it these like these this triangle of words is totally lost on me. He did what it took to make the grade even if it meant this is meant even if it meant Uh, che cheating, cheating, even if it meant cheating to keep up his char uh, charade, char charade, to keep up his charade. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna have a whole breakdown. <laughs> I know! These fonts are hard to read! I, you're making me read upside down and backwards, and you pick this font? I 100% agree, Goofy Bits. And charade, of all words, that's not a common word that I am expecting to see. It's easy to make out the common words like, he did want it to... Like, those are easy. <sighs> <laughs> Sherrod is the killer. <laughs> Sherrod did it. <laughs> oh. The cipher thing you're talking about in Helldivers is actually a thing. It's a cipher in Swedish since they're a Swedish development company. I heard- the thing I heard about the Helldivers cipher was that it was not from- or the thing that I ended up hearing that makes me think it's not a cipher is that it was just some guy in the Discord made something up and was like, here, solve this. And then everybody did for some reason, is trying to. But I don't think it was the devs who made the cipher or cryptogram or whatever it is. Anyway. Here's place when it hit quite flooded on my way home. Made it through safely though. Ooh, that's risky. I always get so nervous. Hydroplaning? Hydroplaning? Big fear of mine. Horrified of hydroplaning in my car. I'm glad you made it home safely because that is that's a is a huge fear of mine I don't know what to do if I get swept away in the water in my car a Panic probably I, I don't think I'd have a good response for that. I need to take a picture Um, I think these must just be scrambled Maybe not, because what is Gib? Big? Hide? Oh, this one's also backwards. I'm just dumb. Okay. That someone must hide. This is all in a row. That someone must hide. Where? I need. I need. Zoom back in. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. There we go. Ref. Ref. Uh, reflex. Reflex. That someone must hide reflex big 
secret born with great pride a symbol of kanji well see now you're making me think about my guy Hal Dr. Hal kanji okay so wait what about kanji I <laughs> That someone must hide um big secret worn with great pride big secret worn with great pride a symbol of kanji okay so if he wears a kanji the kanji symbol for murderer if that's a kanji <laughs> then i then i guess we'll know it's hal that's what i gathered from that whole interaction <laughs> I don't know who else in this 1990s high school is going to be looking at a lot of kanji. Join the winning team. E oh, this is not a cipher. This is just an eye chart. I was like, Visor Z-E Apkubi. I don't think Apkubi is a clue, though. What year did this game come out? I was just- Ah! <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He scared me so bad. I didn't know there was a man in here. I was just gonna look up when this came out. The original one. Um, holy crap. It's the music! I swear to God! <laughs> Secrets can kill... Um, this came out November 1998, and then the original one, and then the remaster, which is the one we're playing, it came out in... not gonna tell me. <laughs> oh, oh, so scary, so scary. 2010. Okay, okay, so, but this is set in 1998 high school. Uh... That I eat what okay, you were also scared by it because oh, holy crap, it felt like he came out of nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry for yelling. I was I was spooked. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. We were all right to be scared. This man is horrifying. Too much confidence. For a 17 year old. <laughs> he does have big Brad energy. Hector does have very big Brad energy. I will give you I will give you that goofy bits. <sighs> okay. Alright. Okay. I don't want to call you the Hulk. I don't know how that's not copyright infringement. I don't want to ask about why you're called the Hulk. <laughs> how did you know I was new here? Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo Del Mar High. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> is he wearing a wire? What is this sticking at the top of his shirt? Are you are you recording this conversation? <laughs> I get too close of, to him and both of our wires just start <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I didn't listen to anything you were saying. I was distracted by the way that his face moves when he talks, which looks like his eyeballs are gonna pop out of his skull at any second. Uh, Number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls. How do you know all the other girls? How do you know all the other girls at school? Dumb question. Isn't it obvious? I'm tall, dark, handsome, 
Not to mention a superstar athlete. Uh-huh. Everybody knows Hulk Sanchez, and the Hulk knows everybody. Okay. Did you know the guy who was killed? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Uh, sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Everybody gets so weird when you bring up the dead guy. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was that was plenty of jump scares for me today. Ooh, should we call the judo school? Five 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 judo. Maybe we should. I don't know why else it would let me zoom in over here. Ooh, yeah, quarter. Sweet. Okay, well, I don't want to- I kind of don't want to be over here anymore now that this guy is just over here scaring people. <laughs> the headphones from his Walkman. Oh, of course it is! I forgot that he's really cool in 1998. You're so right, that's definitely what it is. That'd be crazy, though, if, it if you found out that, like, he's a cop who's also investigating the murder. <laughs> A lot of hallway to walk to walk down here. An art exhibit. Oh look, it's Nancy Drew. That's a weird place to put a quarter. Oh look, it's the White Wolf. The White Wolf of of of, uh, of Canada or whatever. The secret of what was that game called? The Secret of the White Wolf. I wonder if these are from other Nancy games. The dead guy that the investigation thinks they did some shady stuff is a thing that people are nervous talking about. Wow. I'm surprised at how distanced everybody is making themselves from the dead guy, because I feel like a lot of times when somebody dies, everybody almost does the opposite. They're like, oh, I'm so sad. I'll miss him so much, even if they weren't close. So this is an interesting, like, everybody is really distancing themselves from him. I, I don't, I can't get a good read on what they thought of him. Unless they just genuinely didn't know the guy. Z.R. If I had to guess what element that is, I would guess zirconium. Grape, grape, orange, cool will play the alarm in the school. Alright, grape. That's the soda machine. Grape, grape. Orange, cool. The, what a terrible alarm system. I don't know why you rig an alarm through a, <laughs> through a vending machine. Kids are going around slapping vending machines all of the time. Teenagers are violent. Crazy people. They're so full of hormones and they have no way to let them out. <laughs> oh, there's the library. Ah, good, but another bulletin board. This is what I wanted. Three, fifteen, twelve. But it repeats. We're just taking we're just taking a picture of this one. <laughs> Weird that it repeats though, right? 15, 15, 12, 16, 15, 16. Why D3? Why D3? Oh, I'm just now- oh, you know all of these letters at the end? It's the left down up right. Okay, well I have that half figured out. So this would be like down three? White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Thank you, Power. Icicle Creek. 
He's an undercover cop who's trying to pick up underage girls at high school. Isn't that the isn't that the premise of 21 Jump Street? <laughs> Ziara is in fact zirconium. Yes. And why is why is why yttrium? <laughs> the only element with a Y that I can think of. <laughs> So it's supposed to be 1998, but she has a touchscreen phone. I don't know why there are idiosyncrasies in the game. I'm not gonna question it. It's 2010 in real life, so she has a she has a smartphone, but it's 1998 in my head canon. <laughs> oh, I need to. I don't know that I walked down this hallway. I gotta make sure I got all the. Oh, I see. I didn't walk all the way through the study dome, I think. Is that what it was? That's what it was. Because then there's the guy over here. Yeah, there's Hal. I didn't know this connected through. Nope, but I don't want it to connect- Oh, God, go back. It connects through- No, not that way. That way. Library? What? What time is it? <laughs> Aseo Del Mar Memorial Library. What are you what are you memorializing? Aseo Del Mar? Why can't I get in the library? Whoops, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Not that button. This button. Aha! I guess it's just Memorial Library. It's not memorializing anything. It's just the place where you memorialize things. Yttrium, element 39. Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> I'm shocked at how many elements I can remember. I'm so surprised nobody's in here. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified of being jump scared again, though. It's- I feel like I'm in the jungle running away from something all of a sudden. <laughs> Change in intensity in our music again. Can I do the maps though? Aha. Oh, here's another note. N-A-L-3. N-A is sodium. Imagine the atomic number is going to be used. Ooh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. And that's interesting that they have 40 and 39 in here. That's a real possibility. Ooh, that'd be so interesting if that's what you translate them from. I have no idea what to do with this set of letters. Let's just take a picture of it. There's an exclamation point. I don't think any of this... If... And... Uh, okay, I guess it, I don't think it's every other letter. Chunder... My comb. Oh. In Katamelog. In cut ca in in Katalog. Catalog. Cat. Wait. Catalog. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Chunder. It says Chunder, right? Chunder. Chunder. 
my comb combine can't combine com 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 combo 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 chunder my combo chunder my combo in catalog chunder chunder my combo in catalog i thought chunder was australian for throwing up <laughs> Whatever any of that means. What? Chunder? It's it clear as day. <laughs> chunder my catalog. No, chunder my, 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 uh, my combo in, in catalog. Chunder my combo in catalog. Exclamation point. If, if any thing, if anything... Okay, the red letters, the red letters say, if anything, if anything, I feel like I'm being timed with the way this music is playing. If anything, gomp, no, G is part of the other word. If anything happens to me, if anything happens to me, See, search, search. If anything happens to me, search. Search is, it goes from the red letters to the purple letters. If anything happens to me, search. Uh, search under my combo in catalog. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. These are not actually clues. They're kind of clues, I guess happens to me search under my combo in catalog his combo like his locker combination i bet that's what it is now we're cooking with crisco crisco yeah baby we're cooking with crisco up in here oh it's gonna be fried and delicious oh i'm so stoked this is the first time i've ever played a nancy game and felt like i was getting it I feel like I'm constantly in the universal hint system. The global book encyclopedia. Much like the world book. Braille! Okay, it is the braille alphabet. Okay, okay. Um, let's take a picture of this. Oh, Power, I'm so glad you reminded me of the picture system, because this is so handy. <laughs> I don't have to write down all the braille letters. I can just- I can just like, oh, I'll take a picture. We'll look at it when we get back to the place. Okay, so we got the braille. Oh, hello. Hello. Marie Antoinette. Born in Vienna, Austria on November 2nd, 1755, she was the youngest daughter of Francis and Maria Theresa, Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1770, as a young teenager, she was obliged to wed Louis the Fourth, 16th of France to symbolize an alliance between France and her parents' dynasty, the Habsburgs of Austria. Four years later, Marie Antoinette became Queen of France when her husband was crowned Louis, King Louis the Sixteenth. As Queen, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular. Is this a clue or is this just facts about Marie Antoinette? While the commoners stood in breadlines praying for food, the, they cursed the Queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace. The people's discontent grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. In 1791, it looked like the monarchy would not survive and Marie sought assistance from other European rulers. Arranged for the king and queen to escape to Paris on the night of June 20th. The revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple at Varennes on June 25th and escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. Okay. Feels like it should be a clue, but I don't see where the clue part is. 
the only book here we can read is now wait hold on a second they're all labeled weird that they put one on the L though order huh okay double checking Aha, okay. Explorer. Lizzie Applegate, well beloved by San Franciscans. What would they call themselves? Both her both for her cultural and human humanitarian contributions, Lizzie Applegate was a talented actress and songwriter, she began her career entertaining minors at local gold camp. Jay wrote and starred in the tremendously successful play *The Bandit's Treasure*, whose cast included Norma Denfin, Lenore Scost, and Pam Dory. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just note who the people are that we're encountering here. So we have Marie Antoinette, Lizzie Applegate. Oh, it's in San Francisco. I get it. That's why it's in the S book. Oh, hello. So many encyclopedias to look through. Hmm. That medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Connie was wearing the kanji? This is a twist I did not expect. <laughs> I told you Connie was gonna kill. Connie was gonna kill just to feel something. I'm really glad that Nancy told me that, because I didn't recognize that Connie was wearing any kanji at all. On her medallion? Okay, so Connie has the crane. What does that mean, though? That she's a bird? What is this? It's always sunny in Philadelphia? We're just making bird jokes? I'm gonna write down the symbol. I don't know if it's gonna do me any good. I feel like it's not, especially because I'm gonna butcher it. Three horizontal lines. Bang, bang. All right. I mean, it's not bad. It's not good either. I don't know. My crane? It's not good. <laughs> oh well. Connie. Write Connie under that. Oh, I- oh! 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 I just realized I wrote that right next to where I wrote the- the school computer login. For, um, what's her name? For my aunt. I bet I can log into her computer in here. Harry Houdini. We'll write him down too. Houdini. I'm I'm gonna assume this is actually just all facts about Harry Houdini. Um He made an elephant disappear. Okay, I think I got all the books. And I can I log on to the computer? Ooh, magazines! Carly! Career World! Occupations Today! I can't imagine how sad it would be to get a magazine subscription every month called Occupations Today. <laughs> this wildlife now looks like a real magazine. Sports Today! The Insanity of Steroid Abuse. Ooh! Oh, this is such an interesting angle for this. Of of what if it was the jock guy who had a, a, a an episode of roid rage and killed Jake. Interesting. This isn't even. Is this even about that though? 
Anabolic steroids are used to enhance athletic performance and build muscle mass. Virtually all derivatives of testosterone or substances which promote o the overproduction of testosterone in primates. In America, anabolic steroids are classed as a substance. I wonder if they still are. Are they still- steroids are still a controlled substance? Possession of even small amount of hectanol or human growth hormone can land a dealer in jail. They're just trying to throw you off. Brad is all natty, baby. <laughs> they're trying. They're trying to get me to throw Brad in jail for no good reason. He's clean. He's clean. Natty or not, that guy's natty. <laughs> Be embarrassing if he was using steroids because he's not that big. <laughs> The physiological side effects are terrible. Liver damage, heart disease, and impotence are just a few problems. Low body fat levels encountered with heavy steroid use are unhealthy. They don't even go into what I thought they were going to go into, which I thought they were going to talk about roid rage, so that they would think that I would think that Brad committed the murder. But they don't. They just say. Guys, steroids are bad for you. <laughs> I guess I can't look at any of these other ones. Bummer, I really wanted to see what was inside occupations today. On the walls of interest? This is cute, it looks like Nancy drew fan art. I hope that's what that is. Can I look at the card catalog? No. All right. Can I look at the computer? This is what I want. Log on to the computer. Come, come like right over here, Nance. Nance, can you turn? Can you turn to the. I know I, the computer is right here. <laughs> I wish you could turn. But I guess I'll just go look in the stacks. Stop with the music! It makes me think somebody's gonna jump out at me. Oh. Gemstones and how to identify them. Okay, quartz, amethyst, citrine, tiger's eye, diamond. Olivine, zircon, garnet, tourmaline. Barrel. I've never heard of barrel before. Aquamarine, emerald garnet, high rope. That was pretty. Peridot? 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 Cor cor corundum? Ruby, sapphire, zircon. Didn't. You listed zircon already, didn't you? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> okay. Analyzing suspects and suspicions. <laughs> the truth is in here. I love all their details. It's so cute. Look, any other books for me? Just a book of gemstones? I feel like I might be able to suss out what a gemstone is. The criminal justice system. This is Ichido? Chita. Introduction to Ichido. Ichido is an ancient and extremely simple yet highly effective form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, okay. Does this go back to the judo flyer we could look at earlier? Whoops. Oh, I almost... <laughs> oh god, I broke my pencil. <laughs> this game has me so nervous I'm like fidgeting around with all my things. Uh... Although it is in truth nothing more than a repertoire of nine distinct, precisely delivered, offensive blows, Ichido can, when executed by a master, vanquish a foe in seconds. Ichido has never enjoyed great popularity, largely because the Ichi practitioner is required to precede each move with a specific verbal salute, or chi cry. Once an adversary learns which chi cry precedes what blow, he can of course respond to each chi cry with the appropriate block and thus defend himself indefinitely. Nevertheless, Ichido is still learned and practiced with great enthusiasm by people with a passion for power and a taste for novelty. I can't tell if 
the model they're using is like supposed to be like a fun goofy guy or like like a weird racist take I, I genuinely don't know what the intent here was I think it's just weird goofy guy though because of the whole like afro tied up in a I don't know I'm so confused <laughs> I have a feeling somebody's gonna fight me using Ichido, and I'm gonna need to know how to respond. <laughs> okay. Um. Pasa. An up left attack. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, I'm somebody's so. We, we absolutely can die in this. Somebody's gonna Ichido us to death. I'm telling you right now. I can already see the future. Somebody's gonna come fight us. They're gonna come Ichido us to death because I'm not learning these right now. I guess I could write them down real quick. I mean, I, I guess I'll write them down real quick. <laughs> okay, the up left attack. I'm just gonna make myself a little grid. It, they said it's nine moves. I'll make myself a little nine grid here because I can already see the pattern. Up left attack is a uh, sa. Up right attack is five huz. Oh wait, up right, my bad. Uh, times five. Up center attack is eh sa. Eh. Ah, times two. Mid left attack. E ka. E ka. Mid right attack. S Silly snake sneaking up on you. Shura. Shura. Low left. Shaza Shaza Cheetah Ah, yeah, I'm sure I'll keep all of this straight and this will never be confused. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody's gonna kill me. Somebody's absolutely gonna kill me with Ichido. <laughs> Maybe I should call that judo instructor and, and see if they'll teach me. Okay. Any other books in here for me? Can't go forward. Right here. Book? Terror in the tropics. Oh. Cannot read this font. What is a relic? Um, isn't it just a thing? <laughs> the relics of Saint Mark. Uh, I uh, this is a lot about relics. The relics of Saint Theodore. Wait, we've we've seen these before. We saw the chalice of Saint uh, Gervais, the chalice of Saint Gervais that was stolen in in the Phantom of Venice. Are these just clues for the other games? Because that is exactly what happened in Danger by Design. Is that spoilers for Danger by Design? At the end of the game, when we were attacked. We... That lady did a noise before every attack. Was she doing Ichido? Are all of these books just references to other games? Because I'm only connecting the two dots of the- of like the games that I've played. Werewolves? 
And then I feel like we talked about werewolves in 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 the White Wolf, the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. This is just is it is it just weirdly coincidental? I feel like they don't do that in Nancy games. There's no coincidences. Here, here are computers! Here's the computer! Nance, go around and... Can you go around and... Nance, can you go around and get on the computer? Or can you get on any computer? No, I don't want to search the catalog! <laughs> know what I would search the catalog for. These are 1998 computers, I can tell you that much. What if I type, what was his name? Jake? Hmm. He told me to enter his combo in the catalog, but I don't know his combo. Unless his combo- what was on the- what was on there? When we actually went up to it? I'll have to go back and look. Is there something on this pad? Nope, okay. Books? I feel I feel like I'm I'm on such a roll and I just I can't access this computer for some reason. <laughs> I want to log into the computer so bad. Oh, quarter. Yeah. Round, can you come over? Gosh, darn you. Maybe there's another computer upstairs. That seems like a lot of computers for 1998. What did Nancy draw? She drew, but we don't know what she drew. <laughs> Hi Grizz, how's it going? That's part of the mystery, Grizz. To figure out what Nancy drew. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, what? 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 Why? What? 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 Why? Why? Why did an alarm go off? <laughs> Why is there no explanation for that? Game has me so nervous. I'm so much more tense in this game than any other Nancy game. This is in French, so I'm just gonna have to assume that it's not important. <laughs> Uh yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume. It's fine. Bad yourself. I'm doing really good. Uh yeah. Gearing up to move soon, I'm excited about that. This Nancy game has me so tense, but this is like the most I feel like I've ever been able to do in a Nancy game without help. That's gonna end soon, for sure. But... Uh, I feel really good about how it's going. I am like 99% sure all of these books I'm looking at are just Easter eggs. I don't think any of these are necessary. Ham radio. Dynaham Morse code keyboard? Oh, this might be useful. Uh, enter. Enter a four digit number, press connect. Go ahead and just take a picture of this page. 
case we need this. Okay. Nothing's <laughs> nothing's important in that French. That's what I thought. I figured no, there's far too much French here for it to be important. <laughs> That was- oh! Hello. Crystal Skulls. That's another one of the Nancy games. These are easter egg books. These are easter egg books. Fully convinced. Can't change my mind on that. The periodic table! It's the periodic table of the elements! Okay. No, wait, look at it again. I called it. I called it. I called it. It has to be the periodic table. I do really think power could be right. That I need the atomic numbers. I'm gonna write those down right now. I think power got about half of them for me, but I don't think I pulled them all. You know what? You're so right. It's absolutely picture time. I don't know why I was gonna write this down. <laughs> Let me see if there is a pattern, though. Just out of curiosity. Oh, hey, dude. Dude, how's it going? Soul Calibur 2. I mean, I guess. I have to do- I can't do it on my Nancy screen, but if you look at the Google Doc, you're gonna see that I'm typing it in. Just know that. I can't- but I can't share it on here. Uh, Soul Calibur 2. Thank you, dude. Hey, Chef Chelia, welcome back. How's it going? Eating dinner while watching you. Ooh, what are you enjoying this evening? You don't have to type back if you're eating dinner. You can just you can just vibe. But uh, I'm so jealous of everybody's dinners today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get me some food after this. Okay, so we started with Z in zinc is thirty. Uh, H F we said was hafnium. That's seventy two. L A is lanth. Lan what does that say? Lan Lanthium? 57. AS, we said, was arsenic, which is... It... 33. C is carbon, that's 6. H is helium, that's 2. IR is... Iridium? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. 77. It is the iridium. KR is something else. KR is... Krypton, 36. K is potassium, that's 19. DR is zirconium, that is... 40. Y is yttrium, it is 39, and Na is sodium, that is 11. They are kind of all over the map. I just- I, I put them down so that I, I could see if they were near each other, but they're really not. They're really all over the board. Don't be silly, LA's Los Angeles. You're so right, I was so silly. <laughs> oh, I would kill for a quesadilla right now, Chev. Oh my god. Quesadilla, that's so what I'm getting after this. I gotta find if there's like a Taco Bell near me or something. Does Taco Bell have quesadillas? I've, I feel like I've only ever eaten Doritos Loco Tacos from, <laughs> from a Taco Bell. <laughs> Salmon and rice. Ooh, I love salmon and rice. Meat like salmon, rice, zucchini, Brussels sprout, or like you could interchange zucchini, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower, any of those. Oh, one of my top meals. I'm a big salmon person. Jake was here. Chemistry? Aseo, things to remember, me. 
The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule. Maxine, Maxine is the diner. Matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. Oh! The elements tell the order? The el oh no, I should have taken pictures of every single one of these! <laughs> oh no, I was only writing down the elements! <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> Or maybe it's the... Okay, wait, wait, the elements tell the order, the letter and digit tell the direction. Okay. You were so right, Power, it was so atomic number. Okay, this one is I, you too. What's I, iodine? I, whoops. I, you too. I, did I take this piece of paper? Nancy, could you take a single thing with you? <laughs> Please. Jake doesn't need this piece of paper anymore. The answer to my fate lies in the box. What box? Matchbook behind Maxine's. Matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step, so I gotta go back to the diner. Iodine, 53. They said- he said 18 steps. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only have 13. Ugh. Taco Bell is F tier. You know, I kind of agree with you, Grizz. I really, I really am not a big, I'm not a big Taco Bell person. That's why I only eat the Burrito Loco tacos. You know what I hate? We got the other day, we went to the store and um, we bought these Doritos and we thought they were mango flavored Doritos, fiery mango flavored Doritos. And we were like, oh, that sounds so interesting, fiery mango. And then we ate them, we were like, these taste bad. What is wrong with these? And then we look at the front again, and it's Baja Blast Fiery Mango, which is not... <laughs> Don't put Baja Blast in my chips. Whatever. That's a whole, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I don't like Baja Blast, either. I had a quesadilla from Taco Bell last weekend, and I did not turn a restroom into Chernobyl afterwards, so... Hey, that's the best review for a Taco Bell I've ever heard, I gotta say. People in this cartoon drawings are 3D models. They are 3D models in this one, since it is the remastered version. But they are weird-looking 3D models. They're, they're unsettling. They're a little uncanny valley to me, personally. I don't know if anybody else is getting that. They don't move right. They're unsettling. They don't move like in the other Nancy game. Oh, hey, Sombraitis. How's it going? You try Pepe's Piri Piri or Nando's when you come over to the UK or Ireland. Pepe's Piri Piri, I have not heard of. I have had Nando's. We have a couple locations in the States. And I really liked it. Um, yeah, all right, a quarter. Anything else here for me? I feel like there should be. For here, maybe? No. I still- I just can't believe that I couldn't get onto the computer. I feel like I'm going- I see. I feel like I must be able to get on the computer. Right? Like, it's just- it's just right there. Just- it's right there. 
Maybe, maybe if I type in Eloise Brew. Oh, uh, right. If Nando's in America since when? <laughs> I couldn't tell you when. I just, I, I, I know there's a Nando's here and there has been in the time that I've lived here for two years, so at least that long. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot. I think there are only like very few locations in big cities. So what do, what do I do now? This is the real question. Um. Because he gave me... Oh, what about the braille? Or maybe the locker. Find the locker. Where was his locker? Nope, not that way. I don't want to see that guy again. Here's his locker. 8080. Was that... I don't know what this code is. Okay, let's try the braille. I don't know why I'm trying the braille. I I I know what I need to do is go to Maxine's diner. Uh, let's not inventory. I don't have anything. So Answer to my fate lies in the box. Is the box? This is very interesting that this braille. This br set is wallpaper. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Interesting, this braille is all letters, numbers. Um. Gosh, I should have centered this a little bit more, huh? <laughs> hmm. Is Lonnie Manella also in No, the dubs dropped her a few years back, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, this one, this version's 2010, and I think it's her voice. It sounds like, it sounds like her voice to me. Um. I'm so sad I broke this pencil. <laughs> I can't stop fidgeting with it. I'm so nervous. Justin John say John to speak through his teeth when he voiced Duke Nukem. So she's alleged for a lot of reasons. Amen. <laughs> I think it's her in this one. It sounds like her. I'm gonna I'm gonna not touch this. Let's go to the dining. Uh, do I leave? Aha. Good coffee. Hamburgers. Uh, ooh, you know what I can do now that I have quarters? Can I play goose on the jukebox? <laughs> Oops. I don't want to hear Goose anymore. This is not what I thought Goose was gonna be. <laughs> Let me hear Woot. Oh god, no! Play Woot! I don't want to hear Goose anymore! <laughs> why Goose? Why- Grizz, why do you think uh, the Irish music is labeled Goose? <laughs> restaurant to come from across the pond. Canadians, you're right. I've never been to a Tim Hortons. I'd really like to go. Because I gotta say, I do not like Dunkin' Donuts. A lot of Americans are all about the Dunkin' Donuts. I, I, I don't get behind the Dunkin' Donuts. I, it's too sweet. It's too gross. 
hope this is the music for the rest of the game. At least I would- you know what? If this is the music for the rest of the game, alright. I won't be stressed anymore then. <laughs> There's no way to listen to this music and be stressed at the same time. You're just gonna have a good time. What can I do for you? Oh, come on, no! <laughs> we start a conversation, music immediately cuts. Um, give me... Ooh, ooh. See, I was hoping we could come and talk to him and ask him to get the matchbook thing from behind the schedule. But I, I really like that we can immediately say, <laughs> I didn't hear you found Jake's body. I feel like we should go accusatory, like, so quick. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. Because I killed the him. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And... I really don't want to think about it right now. Suspicious. Suspicious. He did it because he's suspicious. So convinced. So convinced. I don't even I don't even know why I'd question him about any of these other people. See you, you know later. Take care. They didn't even bother to put the Irish music back on. Is this Woot? Well, all right. Go check in with my detective guy then. Hi, Nancy. Lester from GTA Five. <laughs> uh, could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. He's so stingy. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. You douchebag, I thought we were working together. What do you mean I gotta figure it out by myself? Why are you being such a tool? I found a notepad in the library that Don't disclose like things to him, Nancy. Jake. Really? Tell me more. Don't tell him more. It says things to remember me and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think I could break the case. But you won't oh, tell me the combo to his locker! In this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to keep a low profile and be careful. I can't solve the mystery if I do not know the locker code. What an absolute tool bag. See you around. Goodbye, Nancy. Lester, you suck. And I still don't know how to... I thought that talking to What's-His-Face would help me find the matchbook. What is... Oh! Oh, 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 there's another code in here! Oh god, I didn't know there'd be codes outside of the school! Okay. X-E? Is that... What is X-E? Is that Xenon? I thought she was a warrior princess or something. X Holly. X E R three. What does this say? J J O U H R. It's not a word, is it? I gotta write it out. <laughs> J O U. Oh, it, maybe it's- oh, it's all the greens. I bet it's all the greens are together. And all the reds. That's- red is a separate color. And then... I... Do you know what this song is? Do you know what song is playing right now? This is the song we had to dance to in Phantom of Venice when we put on a cat suit and had to dance for men in Italy to make money. That's the song that's playing right now. That's what the woot is. This is the worst of all worlds. I'm so upset right now and I can't change the song because I need to write down the letters and I can't believe that this song is coming to haunt me. This is the worst. I can't, I have to change the song. I'm sorry, I don't wanna hear it. Please put, put Goose back on. I can't do this. Oh God, 
stop, stop, please stop. I can't, I can't be haunted by these memories. Oh my god. There you go. Goose is so much better. Okay. <laughs> you should try the Chaos mod in GTA 5? What is the Chaos mod? It sounds like a good time. Models and animations are a bit off, but not that disturbing. Yeah, there's something weird about them. Like, the normal Nancy animations are kind of weird, but these are weird even for that. Okay, so the purple, I mean the, the red set is H-I-S, his. The green is J-O-U-R. N A N A B Blue Who says is mine? Then the pink says cash cow. I'm I think I'm missing his L and L because it's mine says his Jorna is my cash cow. But I'm gonna guess he means journal and I just missed an L somewhere. <laughs> I don't see any... Oh, yes I do, it's in Dr. Bole Tonic. That's a very subtle green L. Okay. Journal. His journal is my cash cow. Whose journal is your cash cow? His journal is my cash cow. Sorry, this voice actor for Nancy is the same voice actor as the main character from the PS2 game America's Next Top Model. Oh yeah, I watched, um, I think I watched the Game Grumps play the, the, the Wii version of that, and it was super weird. It was really surreal hearing her voice saying catty things about, <laughs> about the other America's Next Top Model contestant. That would be a fun one. We should do a let's play of that. We should we should do a stream of America's Next Top Model. I don't actually know if the game is fun, but I think revisiting the idea of it would be fun. I used to watch a lot of America's Next Top Model when I was growing up. Like, like too much. Like enough that it was probably bad for my body image. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, wait, can I click on this? This is the same menu. This something. That suit was so out of pocket. Someone on the dev team definitely likes it. The cat suit thing, I, I mean, I feel like it's mostly a girl production team for this, these Nancy games, and that's why I'm so surprised that it was so skeevy. And maybe that's just because I'm looking at it through, like, my adult 2024 lens and not through the more innocent lens they maybe intended in 2008. Oh, okay, we're playing Barnacle Blast. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! Your job be to scrub our barnacle ridden decks by blast them out of the way with your magic ball. But be on the lookout for creatures and objects with special powers. Uh, scrubbing chest increases your paddle size. Scrubbing an anemone slows down the magic ball. Scrubbing a whirlpool speeds up the magic ball. Good luck and start your scrubbing. <laughs> Oh, cute! It's just a little, it's just a little, uh, brick break. A little, a little breakout. I loved these kinds of games as a kid. I had one on my, uh, Game Boy. That I would play a lot. I also, I- Is this just for funsies? I wonder if there's like a reward or something. 
Wrong way, wrong way. Nope. Oh, nope, come on. There we go. Go back the other way. <laughs> Please. No! <laughs> what a fool! They give you eight balls to start with? That's a lot of balls. <laughs> Journal is my cash cow. This is so interesting the way this is woo, developing. I, I, as much as I really like this, I almost don't want to play this because I want to get back to solving the mystery. Normally I like these little asides, especially this kind of brick break thing. I'll at least clear this level. Foolish. Foolish. Maybe I should let the ball go and just give myself an easier time. Hit the reset. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then up. Yeah! Alright, see, I, I don't know that I need to go through all these levels. Yeah, that's okay. Exit. Alright, we might come back to that. I'm not sure if that's a clue or just for fun. Arkanoid? What is, is that Arkanoid? The version of that, of this that I played as a kid was called... Jardinans. Jardinaise? Jardinaise? Dang. Voice acting's getting some recognition. I've met Susan Blue. Bill Lamar. The guy who voiced Scarecrow in Arkham Asylum. Oh man, that's so cool! I'm also glad voice actors are getting recognition. Because it is like truly some of them are so impressive in what they can do oh I couldn't get over here before do you think he'll let me just walk behind the counter or he'll kill me too oh uh, great let's just walk back into the kitchen that works <laughs> he, he Daryl didn't seem to have any problem with this ooh T-E-L-3 and another weird cipher that I don't know. He said there was a matchbook around here? T-E-L-3. Let's, let's go ahead. I hate that I made this my wallpaper. It's so dumb. <laughs> Camera. Boom. And I don't know if I need all of the- I don't think I need all of this info. Picture of it anyways. I have no idea what this cipher is. The elf- You said... Matchbook? A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Hmm, was it the matchbook behind the schedule that I needed? <laughs> I hear the Nancy Drew- I hear it. I hear the song in the background. <laughs> it's haunting my dreams. I'm so mad it's playing again. But yeah, I, I, I think some, some many voice actors are so, so talented and have such a wide range of things they could do with their voice. I'm also glad that they're getting the recognition they deserve. 
I can't, I'm sorry. I just can't. I just can't. Every time I think I can, I can power through this song. It it bothers me just far too much. Oh, is it over now that I've walked out here? What should let's play rock and roll. I'm I'm curious what it's gonna have for that. It's never what you think it's gonna be. <laughs> Just really, it never, it never quite uh, hits your expectations the way you think it's going to. I'm really glad that Daryl has no problem with me snooping around back here. Most people get mad when you just enter kitchens without working there. Why did we take a ladle? We haven't taken anything all game, and that's that's like the first thing. <laughs> you just steal a ladle from a kitchen. You want to take some knives while you're at it? Protect yourself? Oh, a gnome themed version of the brick break that'd be so fun that sounds adorable i'm not a big gnome person normally but that does sound cute bradley baker's the king of voice acting along with steve bloom mm. who's the queen i nominate gray delisle because of her huge backlog of characters or jennifer hale i don't know i feel like gray delisle i mean i agree is a great voice actress she voices daphne in scooby-doo I know her from. But I feel like a lot of her, her characters have very similar voices. Like, I don't know if her range is that wide, but maybe I'm just not cultured enough and I need to watch more Ray Delisle production. Or feature, feature films. Feature animated films. Did I? I didn't, I didn't finish doing this one. Maxine, Daryl, Carl, Yuli, and Mel from Jake Rogers. He's the one who died. Closing procedure. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. So I think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. After totaling out the cash register, the cashier brings the cook. I literally don't understand how we keep ending up on this song. It's like the game actively hates me. Whatever. Uh, Cashier brings to the cookies. Thank you for being a Blue! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's so good to see you, buddy. Oh, thank you for the resub. That's so sweet. I hope you're doing amazing. I, I, um, you know, every time I peek in on your streams, it seems like you're doing amazing. Thank you for the resub. I really appreciate that. It's great to see you. I, 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 all I hope is for more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire stream on the Laid Back Lou channel. You guys know Lou? You're doing amazing, sweetie! Wow, look at her go! Lou is doing amazing, sweetie. Okay, let's watch a clip. Tenth is even better. Be nice, Mika. Can I get a bullet bill in tenth? Game? Game? I see a pal moon. Lou does a lot of Mario Kart. It's a pretty good time. If you like, uh, you need friends to play Mario Kart with. You should definitely check out Lou's channel. Well, it's great to see you, Lou. We're just talking about our favorite voice actors and how, um, and how much fun this Nancy game is. We're really, we're gonna solve this mystery. Gonna solve the mystery. See you, Scooby-Doo. Bailey's back to you. What's the Scooby-Doo? Cook also needs to check the life expiration dates on all foods and throw the expired ones out. Cashier and Cook get all the food crumbs off the counter. Cook preps all condiments for the next day. All surfaces are washed so they're bright and shiny. This doesn't feel like a clue. This feels like a clue, though. I would say all these num all these numbies down here. 
take a picture of that, but we'll also write down HGL3, and I am 99% sure that HG is Mercury. L3. GL3. You know when your community makes clips. <laughs> I'm sorry that the clip was a little... I feel like the clip was illustrative of... Um, you play a lot of Mario Kart, which you do. <laughs> Go through my clips again see if there's ones I'd rather not see again. Yes! Oh, yeah, that's right. Big Tall was telling... One of my bots, Big Tall, was telling me that I you can fix the clip player so that you only get people's top clips. Or their, fe their featured clips. You only get their featured clips when you give them shoutouts. Which is what I need to change to do. Because then if it's a featured clip, then I'll know it's one that you want people to see. <laughs> That's my bad. I'm sorry, Lou. That's my mistake. Carsonian, I swear to god, I was just saying the damn cat dance game. This song will not stop playing. I have changed the jukebox song three different times now, and it keeps coming up to this same cat dance song. It's driving me bananas. I don't want to hear it, but I need to write this down and leave this room. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind to this cat dance song. Did I take this picture? Let's zoom in a little bit. Down. Nope, nope. Pan. Slide to the left. Excellent. Alright, is there anywhere else, anything else I can get in this kitchen so that I never have to hear the cat dance song again? Does anybody know what this cipher could be? Whoa, is that a quarter? Nice. Because I've got no clue how this translates. I think it must be a cryptogram. Maybe not, because there are three E's in a row. <laughs> Maybe it's another one of the every other letter things? But then again, there would be three E's in a row, so I don't- I- I have no idea. I'm taking- taking suggestions. Ah. <laughs> uh. Make featured clips. I like- I love the featured clips feature. It really- is extremely helpful, both as a viewer and as a streamer. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Featured Clips feature. I'm in Spain, minus the S. <laughs> it's just, it's what it, it, it's what it is sometimes. It's, it's, it's just a little brutal. Oh, 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 what is, oh. Steal the knife? What does this say? It says, watch out. Alright, that's not creepy. That's totally fine and a normal thing to carve into a cutting board. Alright, I'm, I'm again, I'm feeling unsettled. <laughs> so we're gonna go... Um, should we talk to... I kinda think we should talk to Daryl again, maybe just run through the whole line of questioning. What can I do for you? Yeah, let's just- let's just run through the questions with him real quick. Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Ew. Ew. Skeevy! I'm glad she found it skeevy too. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. Let's call Ned and tell him about how skeevy this guy is. Why are most of the guys in this so skeevy? What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football <laughs> scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. 
Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. This is the tagline to his lifetime movie. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Bye. Bye. Take care. All right, I, mu I must leave this diner. We have got to get out of this diner. Is school still open? Oh, good. W don't worry. It, we're away from the cat music, and it's just the creepy, intense music again. Um, I don't know what we should do. I don't know if we should go talk to everybody again. I don't know if hey Nancy, gonna... need something? Any more helpful? See, I never ever would have made out that this was a kanji. They told us she was wearing the kanji for crane. That just, it doesn't look like anything from this perspective. I don't know. <laughs> big guy, big muscles, big dreams is the title of my new book. <laughs> It's, I don't know, the way everybody talks in this is so weird. <laughs> um, your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. Oh, it is? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. News what to a me. coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. No, I'm not. No, I have more questions. What is it you want now? She's so annoyed. <laughs> have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Huh. Wait, okay, so she knows that... She knows about the soda machine alarm. Um. Isn't the dead guy the one who left all the messages? Being dead, I feel like, is about the biggest trouble you can get into. Um. Alright, let's gossip about all the boys. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives Ugh. a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Th yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Gag me with a spoon. This girl is so boring. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. He's weirdly defensive about things. See you later. Adios. She's still my secondary suspect. Ooh, and you know what? I bet that I cannot set off... Hold on, let's save really quick. She might kill me. If I set off this alarm... Okay, there's a soda machine alarm. What was it? I wrote it down. Uh, grape, grape, orange, cool. Nancy. <laughs> she did kill me. <laughs> You're in big trouble, Nancy. I knew, I knew this because she was sitting there. <laughs> uh, turns out you set off the soda machine alarm, she kills you. All right. <laughs> So then we just won't do that right now. And we'll do it later. What what else did I have? 
Oh, we can talk to Hal, I guess. Hal is in here? Hal does not seem like he wants to have a conversation with me and gossip about... Ooh, do you know the combination? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. What can you do, Hal? Honestly. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Why do you care? Why is he keeping up on Hal Sanchez? Not Hal Sanchez, uh, on Hulk Sanchez. <laughs> I thought you were too busy studying to be a doctor. Oh, hey, Madam Askreen, how's it going? Why an alarm on a soda machine? I wish I knew. I, I wish I knew. I don't know why there's an alarm on the soda machine. And I can't find out because Connie apparently kills you if you set off the alarm on the soda machine. It doesn't make- it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, walk it off. You can- you can survive a murder. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Hulk play football. Yeah! Hulk, Hulk big. Hulk play football. That's exactly it, Grizz. That's his whole- that's Hulk's whole personality. He did the biggest jump scare on us when when we found him, and I'm kind of worried that he's gonna do that again. <laughs> All right, give me the gossip about Connie. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. He knows a lot of gossip. He knows a lot of gossip for a big old nerd who's supposed to be studying all the time to be a doctor. Pause, hold on, go back. Um, what do you mean she was dating Jake Rogers? <laughs> what do you mean she was dating the dead man? And she's, she, no, she never brought that up. She said she didn't know him very well. No, she said the opposite. She said she would never date Jake Rogers because he was such a loser. He's still my number two suspect. I'm still very- uh, Daryl Gray is still my number one. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Um. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Yeah! I'm my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Yeah. He, <laughs> he goes, Connie doesn't know dick about me. Don't listen to the gossip. Don't li That ain't what you heard. I'm Hal. <laughs> I am Hal Tanaka and I'll study however I please. I love that for you, Hal. All right, I'm on Hal's side with everything now. Can I look at this piece of paper? Nope, okay. Oh, wait. I'll go back and talk to the other guy, and then I don't know where to go from there. Dude looks like a guy that uh, that like muscles. <laughs> No, he's- I mean, he's- he's a- he's a big old nerd, I guess. She knows a lot of gossip for a nerd. Is he not wearing shoes? Actually, you got me curious now, Lou. Is this- is he not wearing shoes? No, he's wearing shoes. They kind of look like... Uggs? Oh? Maybe that's just me. Don't nerd shame. I'm not nerd shaming. I'm just saying I'm surprised. His whole thing, when we met him, he was he was really focused on studying and becoming a doctor. But he seems to have all the hot goss. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just not what I expected. Here's Hulk. How's it going? I hate this guy. <laughs> 
I hate the jock guy way worse. I like- Hal is my favorite character in the game. I'm not nerd shaming. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. Really? But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. See, everybody this whole game... They're distancing themselves from Jake. It's so weird. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Hmm. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Oh, I wonder if that's why she wants to date Moneybags Daryl Gray. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. I keep hearing that. It makes me very suspicious. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before, and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. <laughs> <laughs> Said the man on steroids. Okay. Goodbye. Later. Alright. Can I set off the alarm here? This alarm work? What was it? Is, do you think that the Hulk is going to kill me if I set off the alarm? Where is it? Grape, grape, orange, cool. Get Connie over here to fix it! Get- what do you mean get Connie over here to fix it? Oh god- oh, leave, run! Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, ra, ra! Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do now! Oh no! All I've done is set off the alarm- Oh god, man, Connie's gonna kill me! Uh! Ah! Uh, I don't know- Ah! Uh, no, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> um, do you think Connie just, like, left her post? Maybe she's not here anymore? Nope, she's still there. She didn't come fix it. Okay. Alright, I didn't die, though. <laughs> Why do you have his mic on his chest? I also thought he had a mic on his chest, but we think they're headphones to a Walkman. Because this game takes place in 1998, we think. If you ignore the fact that I have a smartphone, I think it takes place in 1998. <laughs> I need to stop talking through a ball or something. I know, he's so obnoxious, right? We all hate that guy, yes? We're all on board with that. Nobody- nobody likes the Hulk. I- I don't know what to do now. Because I don't know how to get the code... Jake's locker. Oh, you know what I did notice? Hold on, let's look at something real quick. I noticed that... I'm gonna close out of this. I noticed for the first time that my save that my game came with a manual. And when I opened it, I think it has hints in it. Because it's don't turn the page till you check out the extra credit work. Jake Rogers was hardly the most popular student at Florida's 
Paseo del Mar High School, but the local authorities want to know who disliked him enough to push him down a flight of stairs. Yeah, there's like a strategy guide that comes with it. I want to see if there's a hint for finding his locker code. Because i that's the one thing I'm really having trouble with. Uh, Paseo del Mar has a complex floor plan with an access to an array of rooms so it's easy to look overlook details like where to find the library. If you're stuck and feel like a new kid on the first day of school, check out the high school map on page 7. Ooh, a map would be so handy! Taking a few notes makes it easier to solve this case than figuring out everything in your head. Write down the code letters. Okay, we did that. If an event mentioned in the steps of this guide doesn't occur, check to see if you've talked to everyone. Okay. Sometimes you'll see something shiny, place your magnifying glass over the shiny objects, you'll find a quarter. Oh, unlike other Nancy Drew mysteries, you don't have to worry about buying items to solve puzzles, so spend your quarters at the arcade! Nice! Okay, this is Aunt Eloise's house. We did that. We've done this. Um, we, we met Detective Beach. We went to Maxine's. We talked to Daryl Gray. Ah, here's the map of the school. So I think we've... To Student Union? No, wait. Oh, I haven't gone to Student... There's a door I can go through over here? I didn't know that. Oh, well, that's definitely what I need to do. Hulk. Um, didn't, okay, I think it's, I must need to go to the student union. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to guess. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Dare to play. Really hate that whisper at the beginning. <laughs> Did she change all her volume controls on me now? Because I had it worked out just fine. Did that dude Jake die because he got pushed down the stairs? Weak. <laughs> Weak? What do you mean? Hi, Being pushed I'm down Nancy the Drew. stairs is totally this a is valid way to die. You land wrong, it's over. Whoops. Need to load. Uh, where did it say the doors to the student union were? I thought it said it was right here. This is not the student union. That's for teachers only. But <sighs> I have a key. Yeah, right. You're still not getting in on my watch. I need to get Connie out of here. Setting the alarm off did not work. Is this the student union? I thought this was just like a teacher's lounge. It showed a door. Am I crazy? Did it not show a door right here? It definitely says student union this way. I, I mean, I guess this is the student union. Also, did I get the board over here? Did I get whatever message? I missed one somewhere. No, I got that one. Bummer. I was really hoping that would help me out. And quarters in the place of the traumatic music. I- Hey, it's- It means that I can spend more quarters on playing music that is not that song. So I have that going for me. So what's with this? A ghost gonna pop out? Oh yes! The music! It's so spooky! It feels like we're being haunted by Jake's ghost up in here. Okay, I think- I think this is the first time in the game that I am stuck because I don't know. I'm looking through all my notes. I need to get into... Let's just call Ned. I need to get into A, the teacher's lounge. 
But I need Connie to move. But... I... I don't have his locker combination, and I, I really- I don't think I can move on without it. Call Ned and see if he has any advice. Hello? Is this Martha Windeglassen? Who is please calling me? Um, no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned, I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? Okay, two thoughts. One, I can't believe Nancy didn't recognize her boyfriend just putting on a voice <laughs> on the phone when he answered. Um, two, I still, I'm still a big fan of Ned and Nancy. I, I, I ship it. I'm into it. <laughs> Undercover yet I'm using my actual name. Don't worry about it. She I feel like she's never gone with a pseudonym. She she's always just putting all her business out there. You'd think somebody would just do a quick Google Nancy Drew and they'd find all of her business. Okay. Ooh, help me get into Jake's locker. That's probably what I'm gonna ask him. Not sure what to do with the secret message in the map drawer. Connie won't let me into these are all really good. Let's help me get into Jake's locker. Help me get into Jake's locker. Figure out how you can translate his name into numbers. The answer is probably staring you in the face right at this exact moment. How on- I never would have guessed that. Are you kidding me? That's it? I gotta go. Bye, Nancy. Okay. So. J. A. K. E. Five, two, five, three. It was really that easy. <laughs> I'm so glad we called Ned. Five, two, oops, five, I can't believe- I can't believe I didn't even think to start guessing passwords for him. Oh my gosh. Couple of fun games where she has a secret identity. Those are fun. Ooh! I didn't know she would sometimes be actually undercover. <laughs> oh, you have- you're having bad roommate problems, Madame Masquerine? I'm sorry to hear that. Roommates are a, a delicate situation. You know, it can be- I've had really bad ones, I've had really good ones, it's- it can be really tough. Paso Del Mar, Florida. Masked Marauder flattens foes. See the caption? So somebody showed up to a judo tournament in a- in a mask? And cloth mask to seal his identity, the winner who identified himself only as Nine Co. I'm gonna write that down. That feels that feels weird. Feels like a suspicious Nine Co. Pressed the capacity crowd with his quickness control, defeating opponents well outside his weight class. Hmm. Okay. English essays through the ages. Etiquette. Prudence Rutherford. I don't know why he would bookmark this thing on etiquette. Etiquette is the art of communicating and a method that puts the receiver at ease and elicits a feeling of comfort. Etiquette is also essentially 
founded on reason. When studying etiquette, one must always be on guard for incomplete and and at incomplete and what is what is this word? Spe specious, specuous. this for me to say, say the word specious did that come through did you hear that specious specious hey specious no specious i got it okay apparently good or right though lacking real merit superficially pleasing or plausible pleasing to the eye but deceptive well, look at that. We knew- we learned a new word in answer. Uh, specious instruction. Just as several questionable lawyers have established many unreasonable laws, likewise so many teachers of this fine art have introduced unreasonable etiquette practice. Our main objective in etiquette is to adjust our behavior in several distinct ways. One adjustment is our behavior towards men, women, superiors, our equals, and those below us. For example, it would be downright rude to attempt to persuade a man or woman equal to us to eat against their wishes. Therefore, it would not be ignoble. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the, the <laughs> that means not noble. Noble, not to attempt to persuade someone of lesser means to eat. It is critical that we all understand these significant nuances. Why would you bookmark this? <gasps> oh no, the videotape is missing! No! No, I wanted to see what was on the videotape so badly! Oh, man! Break in at local pharmacy? A Java soothes local jitters. Nope, I don't think that's true. So much anxiety in coffee. The break in at the pharmacy. They broke in through the back window, took the drugs, and were out in minutes. Several vials of hectanol were taken. Hectanol, that's the steroid. No other damage to the store. There, oh good, there's a quarter in the middle of the newspaper. <laughs> so interesting. They stole hectanol. Okay, so here's here's where I think the story is so far. I think Jake was the drug thief. I think Jake was a drug peddler for Hectanol, the steroid which he was selling to people like Hulk Sanchez. But I think he's an accomplice. I don't think he's the brains behind the operation. And I think whoever the brains of the operation was is the one who killed him. And my front runner is still Daryl, but it could also be Connie. That's my current thought. I'm not fully on board with my current thought though, you know what I mean? Like, I still- um, it's still too early. It's still too early to tell. Are any of the- Alarm blaring, alarm blaring. Dude, where's the- Oh, it's still here from when I turned it on. Oh, I should go get Connie. Oh, that's how you remove Connie. Duh. Oh my god, I can't believe I just now pieced it together. That's how you get rid of Connie. The alarm is still blaring. She never came to fix it because I didn't tell her that it needed to be fixed and this is what I need to do. I need to tell her that it needs to be fixed and then she'll come and fix it and she'll get out of my way and then I can get into the teacher's lounge. Yes? Connie. What is it you want now? Connie, someone set off the alarm. Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. So Connie, the student monitor to the rescue, again. 
Yes. Yes. Look at her notebook. Look at her notebook. You might be wondering why I'm even sending this out, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallway we catch each other's eyes, and it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you. Every time I drive to or from school, it's like you're in the car with me, and we have these amazing conversations. And I'm thinking, how will this ever become true? Can you forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows it's not safe and stupid to do. Sometimes I can't keep it bottled inside me, and I want to scream it from the rooftop. Is this crazy? Am I? Ooh. Alright, I gotta get into this room before she gets back. My key. Nope, other key. Other key. Yes! 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 <laughs> love a love poem. But it wasn't really love. It was more stalkery than anything. It's an unrequited love. You know? You get that social security number for Texas, she gone. Will she get Yo Connie? She, she got it. She 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 does seem to be uh digging for gold, I believe. They told me to do something with these. Oh, what did they tell me to do? Oh, I can't click on them. Except for how? This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. You're telling me how plagiarized a Prudence Rutherford essay on etiquette? How? Submit Hal Tanaka's senior paper to the POM Scholarship Foundation. <gasps> Plagiarist. Are we not going to take this with us? Because, um... It's clear, he plagiarized. There. Okay, so now we know Hal is a liar and a plagiarizer. That's the only- yeah, this is the only- A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. Yes, the prize was $8,000 for the scholarship contest they were going to submit his essay for. AG is the chemical symbol for... Ooh, is it gold or silver? Oh, I think one of them's AU and one of them's AG, but I don't remember which is which now. It's silver, but I'm not sure. D1. A G D1. Okay. You do have a picture of it. Oh, I do have a picture of it! Good call, Power. I forgot we took a picture of it. That should be my phone background. Oh, not the camera. Oh, yes, the camera. Sorry. What did I say? A G? There it is. It's silver. 47. Okay, 47. Since I got a few more of these, I might as well look. X E is Xenon, 54. T E. T E is. Tellurium? 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 I'm not sure. 52. And HG is Mercury, which is 80.
How did how did Jake get in here to leave a bunch of weird messages? Orders. Oh. Gray Enterprises po posts third law stock tumbles. Gray Enterprises, that must be that must be Daryl's dad's company. Uh, we anticipate increased defense spending in the next year. Our new missile guidance system, Bright Aurora, will be online in six months. Gray Enterprise stock has sunk by 75% in the past year. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad for Mr. CEO Dad. Not doing well economically. We just have proof of that now. Whoa! <laughs> CLD2. CL is chlorine. I think we must be close. I have 4, 8, 12, 13, 18. I th it's 18 clues. This is the 18th clue. CLD2. This is... Is there anything to read here, or it's just the number? Okay, it's just the numbies. Chlorine is what, like 13? Periodic table? I can't even see it well on my home screen. 17. I'm afraid if I turn a little bit more that a person's gonna be in here and just totally jump scare me by not saying anything. <gasps> this computer! Oh my god, finally I can get on a computer! Okay, I'm gonna do that, but I wanna finish looking around the room. Admin in out? Uh... I'm gonna take a picture of this. I don't know that it's important. But better to have and not need than to have to come back. Enter? I have I have the passcode to this. Username is Eloise Drew. Password is O Wise Elder. Yes. Look at how cute this this computer is. <laughs> um passwords. Oh, snap a pic of that, Nance. Yeah, baby. This is great. Oh, this is so good. Okay, the maintenance room, the code is note. This is awesome. Ooh, ooh, okay. So, the maintenance room, the code is note. So, so... We translate from Braille... Note. Note is gonna be- I'm gonna draw a picture for myself so I can see it when I go type in the code. Okay, there's the N. O is three dots. T is the little Tetris block. And E is two Diagonal. Okay. So now I can get into the maintenance room. This is the best! Not a good place to store your passwords here, but, you know. <laughs> uh, records room. Principal's office. Athletic supply room. Staff entrance. 
Teacher's Lounge copier. Clean stairwell near cafeteria. Repair lock on video lab door. Check ADA requirements for doors. Call Dylan HVAC for boiler service. Change password to boiler room door. Wonder if they ever got around to that. File security report. Okay. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers for bulletin board duty. Send me a list of I think list. What was that noise? Did somebody come in the room or was that my printer finishing the print job? Locate missing book or order replacements for English essays throughout the ages. That's how we know Hal was cheating. Oh, hey, I follow and say gaming. <laughs> Living up to your name. Love it. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I was so deep into it, and then you, you truly brought me back to reality, so I do appreciate you popping in. <laughs> um, other donations for sophomore book sale, update meeting information, take down student art exhibit, have library, computer... Help. Okay. The keynote? Nope, 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 nope. No, I keep thinking that not these things are not going to make me get on the computer, but they keep do, me doing that. Connie, probably? You think Connie did it? Or Connie's making noise? I didn't die. I haven't died, so that makes me feel like... Maybe Connie is back and I can't leave the room now. <laughs> oh no. Security detail report. Lights left on in library. Send email to Eloise Troop. All outer entry. Lock backpack. Backpack belonging to Connie Watson found in student union. Placed in lost and found. Several security lights are out. Work order submitted. Toolbox from Dylan H. Back service left in boiler room. Old outside grounds on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not properly secured. Observe young man peering through school entry. Identified himself as an exchange student was trying to retrieve his homework. At 8.30 I heard two individuals arguing outside Geyser Gym. When I approached them, two males round down Rutherford Street. First male was five foot five, one twenty, red hair, fifteen to eighteen. Wore a green windbreaker in jeans. That's not a he. That's Connie's description. There's no red-haired males here. Green windbreaker in jeans. Second male was fifteen to eighteen years old. Wore a football jersey with the numbers eight or zero on it. Caught several students soaping teacher's lounge windows. Engaged in a senior prank. Clean the windows and leave campus. Students involved with Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvonne Wong. Students have been given to principal pardon. Heard screams from the east stairwell. After calling 911, found male teenager who apparently fell from stairs. Attempted to apply for a stage. See police report from further detail. But I thought Daryl was the one who found him. Was this security guard the person who found him? Also, I'm going to write down the security code. I don't actually think I need that security code, but I would like to write it down. 662583-4373. Soaping a window, like cleaning it. Yeah, what is soaping a window? That's a great question. How is that a prank? <laughs> what is... What is... Window soaping? What is soaping windows? Soaping windows is a Halloween prank where children use bars of soap to write messages or slogans on windows. Oh, I guess it's kind of like... It's 
it's the same as like writing with lipstick on a mirror kind of thing. You just use soap to write words on a window. Okay. I see. So you can write the words cleanly, and, but they're easy to be cleaned off so you don't get in a lot of trouble. That's all right. That's all. Okay. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good prank. It's a, it's a net neutral. Nobody's harmed in the process. I think, I think I got everything in this room then. I'm worried Connie's back though. Oh, oh god, oh Hello? god. You better stop your nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of shape. Who's Mitch Dillon and how did he get this number? We've never met a Mitch Dillon. Who's Mitch Dillon? <laughs> Go ahead and save though, cause I'm a little nervous now. Uh, oh good, okay, Connie's still gone. And... What? I don't know what needs to be done. Follow the direction, secret message, map drawer. Oh, yes, that's right, the combo. Wait, 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 let's go to the library. Yes, yes. We needed the combo to his locker because we needed to do something with it in the library. I don't remember what that was now, but I want to see if we can. Oh my god, let me into the library. Why, why is the library always locked? Okay, we needed to do something. Sound like a knockoff of Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> hey man, he was he was trying to popularize that Rick voice before before Rick was even around. Okay. If anything happens to me, um search under my combo in the catalog. The catalog, yes, that's what it was. The catalog, the catalog. And not the card catalog, but the computer catalog. Which I guess are technically the same, but they didn't make you do it the long, boring way. <laughs> I've never in my real life used a card catalog. It was just- it was too far before my time. What was his- it was... 5253, five, I think? Evidence. J. Rogers, under my seat reference. Under my seat reference? Oh, just under my seat. Reference? Is it upstairs? Can't read these placards. Was this his seat? Aha! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Uh... <laughs> Wait. No, I don't know what to do with this. I was gonna- I was wondering if this is the, like, down, one down, left. Maybe it is. Is this the elemental puzzle, do you think? I don't see how it possibly could be. Okay, let's come back to this in a minute, because you know where I didn't go? I didn't go to the maintenance room. And I want to go there first before I try to explode whatever that is. Where is the maintenance? Wrong way. Okay. It was... N? O? E? E. Yes! 
Oh, is it just the elevator in here? Oh! Oh! I'm so nervous! What? Um... What? Nineteen sixty-seven. Yeah, we know it's established nineteen sixty-seven. They, it, it's on a placard upstairs. We've seen this already. I don't know why it's a special placard down here too. I mean, I'll write it down if you insist, game. I'm hoping I might get one more clue. Half a cone. Aha! Emergency instructions. Cause of the high temperature condition must be investigated by qualified personnel. Okay. So it looks like it's 15... 100... 35. 15, 135. 45? That's 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. It's 45. 15, 145. Okay, yeah, just take those. I'm sure whoever is working in the boiler room doesn't need those gloves. You just take them for yourself there, Nance. Oh, can we go down there? What are these? These seem like they're already set just fine because I can't interact with them. But I also can't go to where this ladder is. Huh, okay. Not quite as helpful as I th thought the maintenance room was gonna be. Maintenance schedule? Nope, okay. Okay. Don't, uh... I think I'm gonna try that puzzle up there, and then I might call it a night. Because now I... I'm gonna try to do it this, like, left and right way. But I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm missing an element of it. So if we put them in order, we're gonna have up to, see now it already doesn't make sense because up to from what? I need a center symbol. So I can't just default to the upper leftmost one. I really don't feel like we've seen these symbols anywhere before. Not even in... Maybe in the random books we were looking through? I don't know now. I think I'm, I might just have to leave it at this and come back tomorrow. I'll go through my checklist though. Look for look for evidence under a library seat. Check. Have it done that. 
Oh, we need to talk to Al, Hal about the essay he copied. Haven't done that. That's done. Check. Okay, I think that we can. That's done. That's done. Check off for everything except for. Did that. That's done. Conversations. So let's do that tomorrow. Did that. Did that. Let's. Did that. Did that. Thank you, Nancy. Did that. I'm sorry. I'm just Check. checking these all off. Feels good. Yeah. There we go. Now we know that all we need to do tomorrow is go talk to everybody again and see if we can figure out more. And what- and figure out whatever this is. I feel so good about this one. Like... This- this one I'm vibing with so much. It's got the creepy kind of horror intensity to it. I feel like I'm smart enough to figure out the puzzles. I have not had to have ha I have not had to use the universal hint system. I opened the manual, but and I called Ned Nickerson. I feel like I I've only been using the tools they've given me. I only just now opened the to-do list. I haven't been really relying on it. It feels so good. Oh man, I really like this one. I'm hoping that uh I think this is a shorter one, so I'm hoping that tomorrow We'll get a resolution on it. I think, um... I might be a little late to stream tomorrow. It might not be. I'm... I'm working out a lot of the moving things, and so I'm... <laughs> I'm hoping that I will be on time and that I will be here to stream, but I do plan on streaming tomorrow, and I'd really like to see if we can solve the mystery, because I am so invested in it, and I would love to see it out before I move. Uh... Easy puzzle. It is. You're easy doing puzzle. amazing, sweetie. Wow, look at her go. Thank you, thank you, Grizz. I feel like I'm doing amazing, sweetie. You know, it. You know, maybe the puzzles were just easier in the early games, but I, I get it. I see the draw. You know, I'm just. I'm vibing. I'm vibing with it. It feels good. If there were any that I could do senior on, it may. It probably could have been this one. But probably not going forward. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see if there's somebody online to raid. We'll uh, we'll call it a night here. Oh. All right, that's loud. Don't be loud, Twitch. You ever like open Twitch and see whatever the main video they've got running on the on the home pages, and you're like, oh boy, this is this is weird. I understand why people think. The Twitch streaming is kind of weird sometimes, because some some of the streams they have on the front page, you're like, how is this entertaining? How is this even legal? Alright, let's see who we can raid to. Um, we could do Logical Lime. That might be fun, unless there's somebody playing Nancy Drew. Anybody been playing the Nancy Drew Keys game? Like a lot of people are playing the Nancy Drew Key. A lot. One. <laughs> uh. Oh no, there's a couple. There's a couple people doing the key. Anyways, let's just raid logical line. That sounds nice. Raid logical line. They're very cool over there. They're playing a game named Hades. So. I hope it's- I hope it's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. There we go. Put that down, actually. And, uh, yeah! Thanks for hanging out! Thanks for being here! I'm so happy to be back in the Nancy Drew. Me and- me and Nancy are vibing on this one. Oof! Can't wait to play more tomorrow. Thanks for being here, and I will, uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody! Have a great night and a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Uh. Oh, I gotta quit this game. Oh, uh, yes, save. Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta end the stream.